on the zoo with Marcela Lucia from Sharknado 4 and 5, and of course, the George Lopez Show. Welcome, darling. Thank you, well, darling. Now, before we sit down, do you want to make an announcement that we just discovered something? What? What? We discovered what? something on you. What did you discover? Okay, can you want to say it? <laughs> Oh my God! It's another okay. person. Oh my God, guys! You heard it here first. We have two guests today. She's having a baby. By the way, I hate to. Okay, like I learned what? my lesson. Even though it was confirmed before we started yeah, to sure. even say you're pregnant, because I wasn't 100 yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. I, I can't. No, I don't want to tell woman she's pregnant yeah. until she yeah. says it. I'm pregnant. Note, yeah. This is a baby, but yeah. okay, fine. It's happened to me before. Are you pregnant? Oh yeah. no, I'm not. And then you just yeah, That's big right. trouble. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go hide after that. Okay, so you gotta be. Do what? Okay, we're gonna do the one, two, three. What special? Pregnant edition. Ooh. Babe, we're gonna we're gonna hold her and oh, like gently right. put on the cuffs. Okay, ready? Okay, okay. Go, ready? Go. Okay, we're gonna do it slowly. Okay, okay. <laughs> quiet. And a count. Okay, three, two, two one. one. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. I'm gonna start having it too. Like I did a commercial where I was pregnant and I had like a fake belly on. Yeah. It's difficult it to difficult. sit. Your your back starts hurting right away. Really? Even with the fake it's difficult belly. to drive. It's I was like I couldn't pick anything up because yes. you have to like make some kind of like acrobacia yes. to be, get to the floor. My friend and I were having brunch one day and she's eight months pregnant and wow. then she dropped her utensil and she reached to grab it. She couldn't even reach down and she just started bursting into tears. Aww. She's like I can't do anything. I can't even tie my shoe. Like it was really. Uh, no, it gets on the way of everything. I mean it's a good thing. What's been the but, most frustrating thing for you about the pregnancy so far? Every day is a new sensation. Really? I just don't even know what my body's going through. I know everything is being pushed up inside. Okay. And I just wake up one morning like, oh, I've never felt that before. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, congratulations, your first. It's my awesome. first oh. and first time I've revealed it. So. Oh my <laughs> God. Wow, thank you. Oh my God, we're so special. Yes. By the way, the rest of us need to start having some babies too. No, honey. No, no yeah. Okay, I'll pass on that <laughs> for now. <laughs> Sorry. For like 10 but years. we can do a baby shower, <laughs> you know, for you if you'd like. You know. So we had Tara Reed on the show. Oh, nice. Um, I love Tara. It well, Sharknado is this phenomenon. Tell us about it and tell us about your role on it. I mean, you, you run Sharknado 4 and 5. Sharknado 4 and 5. You survived 4 and made it to 5. <laughs> I mean, everyone kind of dies in right. 5. As, uh -huh. I mean, I don't mean to kind of right. reveal Spoiler. the ending, but, but uh, yeah, everyone, it's, a, it's a completely different Sharknado. It's beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. this one actually looks cinematic. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And it looks like Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. And um, now we're playing with physics. Uh -oh. Which is we've never done before. So okay, what what do you mean? So we're playing with time travel. I don't mean. Oh. Oh. So then you can survive into space because you'll just go back in time. Exactly, or? that's the plan. Everyone How can many come back if they want. are there gonna be? Like. <laughs> Until um, so all the for sharks. As as, yeah, it's are, a worldwide. Yeah. For as long as it's trending on Twitter, I'm pretty sure sci fi <laughs> yeah, exactly. will find a reason to have it. <laughs> I mean, that is a social media driven hit. It is. It's people a started, I mean, it, uh, the first one I remember, people just started tweeting about it, and that's what kind of got the whole thing. You know, so we got some, we got some stills. Ooh, By the way, that. I have oh, to yeah. ask this. That's in, Lon in London, yep. Did wow. you. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Mrs. Hey, Kiki. Are you still able to I do that with no the... No way. I wow. lost my balance. Look at you kicking <laughs> sharks. <laughs> that was an oh impromptu. Oh, my God. That was a totally impromptu. He's like, what can you do? What can you do? The director is losing his voice at this point, screaming shark everywhere. And I said, I can high kick. He's okay. like, do it now. OK, good. Slow what? motion. Good. Was that a, like a no CGI stun. shark, or was that like no. a real shark? Oh, I wish it was a real shark. Okay. No, it was a CGI. <laughs> I don't know. That would have been It looked pretty real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was Tara Reid a party animal on set? Was she like with a party? gravitate no. towards her after no, she actually no she wasn't she was she was on set every day she actually taught me a lot she showed me all the ropes in Sharknado I have such a soft spot for her I simply yeah. adore yeah. that girl um, but yeah no she was perfect I love her wait so. what about Ian Ziering that's why I'm like ah oh, I remember watching Ian him on Ziering. I don't do one oh he is Sharknado yeah. like you don't have Sharknado without Ian that's yeah. for sure um, again incredibly professional I don't they work so hard I mean we're basically on set 6 a.m. we don't come home until 10 p.m. Wow. And wow. it's just constant exertion. But when you love it, you love it. You don't even count the hours. Okay, so. Is everything, sorry, is everything no. shot here? No. No, so this particular Sharknado we filmed all over the world. Okay. We filmed in Japan, oh. Australia, R Rome, London, and one more country. Oh, Bulgaria. Honey, we need to get in on, the, <laughs> on mean, the next one. Yeah, please. No, at least you get a road trip out of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you were on George Lopez show. Yes. Now, uh, t tell us about what that was like, but then segue into your appearance on Lopez, the one on TV. <laughs> which I love. It's like an edgier side of George. And, and oh. your particular episode, not to, I'm, I'll give it away. You guys go on a date. 
Yes. Yes. She was on a date oh, with I her. Know, I know. She oh, was the daughter for 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 some wow. of That's some of the viewers. That's not the daddy of the baby, right? Wait, no, 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 no girl. Is George know. like a dilf on this show? Is that what it is? Uh, I don't know if I don't. I don't. He, maybe, maybe. But um, let's backtrack a little bit for <laughs> viewers that don't know. You played George Lopez's daughter on Carmen. Carmen. She's my oh, favorite yeah. character of all time. Yeah, I had a crush on Carmen. I was Aww. a young kid. I had a crush on Carmen. What? Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I still wow. have a crush on Carmen. This girl, Ooh. Carmen. No, but I mean now. Was oh. that not then? Now. Uh, I mean, I was technically, I was over 18 as an actress. Oh, then okay. I did. You I can, still you do. You can totally have a crush on Carmen. <laughs> Good. Um, no, it, I mean, it was my very first uh, screening. It was my very first network test, producer's test. I had no idea about sitcoms. My first audition for a sitcom. And I walked in, and I think that's why I booked the job, because I didn't impose anything on her. I just played myself, because I had no idea what else to do. And I remember I was just startled when I came on uh, in the rehearsal because everyone started laughing, the, the producers, to see how the jokes were timed. And I was just startled. I'm like, oh, are, isn't the actor's space supposed to be sacred? Like, no one should interrupt the actor when they're performing. So it was like, <laughs> everything was brand new for me. Wow. Um, but I love the idea of having a live audience and just seeing real time the reactions, because we're here for the audience. We're here for the public. And if we can't see real time, you know, that's, that's actually a very beautiful element to it in acting. Now, fast forward, and then you guys can react to She does an episode on Lopez, the yes. new series, which is a lot of edgier, single camera, and all that stuff, and she goes out on a date with her TV dad. Yes. And a lot of the characters on the show were, I mean, what was that like? I remember I read the, the very first page of the script, and the title of it was George Dates His Daughter. Ooh. And I remember just sitting there staring at it, saying, oh, God, please no. Please, no, I can't do this. <laughs> Gotta be a title. You know I'm sorry, I don't do it. The, the micro, yeah, the jacket and the sure. microphone is, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And then, so basically, um, I read the script. It was hilarious. I mean, it's by some incredible writers. And George, I was just, I was so excited to work with George again. It's been almost 10 years since we last saw each other. And with Constance, when she came on set, I mean, it was immediate. I was shocked to think after 10 years, we start the table read, and we have like these two universes, his current show and the George Lopez show from our set. And then when we merged, it was like seamless. Like there was no rehearsal necessary. We we're right back to the rhythm wow. of things. Yeah, so that it's cool. So, so awesome. certain things never change, as they say. Certain things never change. This definitely did not change. So. Wow, well, I have to ask, you're Albanian, is that, is that correct? Guys, I'm not Hispanic. I yeah. know, I, I thought you yeah. were for yeah. years. That, that has been freaking me out. I'm like, I swear Carmen was a Latina. And, and it turns out you're Albanian. Like, what is that like playing a Latina and also maybe feeling like one, even though yeah. you're Albanian? How, how does that work for I mean, you? I mean, I spent my most formative years on set. I was 14 years old when I came on set. And all I really know from 14 to 21 is the Hispanic community and, and just the parties and the fun and the, and the spice and the energy. And I grew up with that. So to me, I, I, I can't really differentiate anymore. Like, That's so I awesome. I am what I am. I've had my experiences, my most formative years there. Even so. now, you sound and look Latino. I mean, <laughs> I mean, so. Are there a lot of Albanian characters that you're auditioning for, or is it mostly None. Latina? Zero. That's why Zero. she has to perform as a Latina. It's room in the market, though. Talk we about you are Albanian. We yeah. thought we were we interested like in Albanians, man. Yeah, this... I'll be, I don't even know an Albanian. What if I, I'll be Albanian. You can stay Latina. We'll trade off, yeah. and it'll be a whole yeah. thing.